it's not nice. Oh man, I was recently diagnosed with ADHD. For those of you who don't know, that means I cannot pay attention in high definition. <laughs> I really think that dating should be an extreme sport. Now think about it, especially the first day, because what do you do the first thing? You go online, you start researching, right? Check out if there's any warnings you should know about, what equipment you should bring. And when you get there, it's never exactly what you expected, right? Either that cliff face is really short, or that guy was much cuter three days ago when I was drunk. <laughs> And dating me is, well, any guy dating me is taking his life in his own hands anyway. Because I poison myself occasionally. Not intentionally. <laughs> it's just that whenever I'm actually sick enough to need meds, between the ADD, the dyslexia, the grinding just being sick, I end up back at the doctor's office. She's like, what did you do? I'm like, what? I took the meds you gave me. I took four to six pills every two hours. OK, dyslexia, never mind. <laughs> A friend of mine actually offered to get me a helper monkey. No, well, that's kind of interesting, but I actually turned it down. I said, come on, monkeys smell, they masturbate everywhere, and they use poop as a weapon. I already date men. <laughs> Does anyone else get these phone calls? Hi, Aunt Alice. No. No, not married. Yeah. I thought I would have been married before the gays, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I have to admit, though, I really love the hardliners, their stance against gay marriage, in the sense that they kept saying, we, we need to save the sanctity of marriage. It's like, do you not read history? Marriage actually started when the royal families needing some sort of DNA test to prove who was aligned for the throne. They didn't have more in it. They had to do something, right? <laughs> But seriously, have they not seen the divorce rate? We're up over 50%. There is no sanctity of marriage. Oh. Although my mom would tell you that the key to a long marriage is to have a good sense of humor. I've got to tell you, though, after having walked in on my parents a few times, oh. Oh. <laughs> it might even actually be passion. <laughs> passion and the ability to stop your youngest child from ripping out her eyes. I haven't seen that again. Mom says, honey, do you really want this to be the last thing you ever see? Oh, good God, no. <laughs> and I know my folks are older, because I'm a little further back from the pack, so to speak, but we had just had dinner. You know, I'm still clearing off the table. They forgot I was there and started boffing in the other room. <laughs> wow, my mom's like, honey, we're on so many meds now? We don't have memories. <laughs> that actually might be the key to a long marriage. I mean, <laughs> Oh man. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Is everybody aware? Yes. Yeah. Good. I myself am in a high risk group for breast cancer. I don't have it, I'm just always getting checked. Um, <laughs> it's not what I meant, but that's better. <laughs> Becoming more saucy red at all. Uh, but I understand now why alcoholics refer to St. Patrick's Day as the day for amateurs. Because people are always trying to make me aware of breast cancer. I'm very aware. I mean, come on. Last week, I was making out with a guy in a bar, you know, catching a little PDA. He grabbed onto my boob and started screaming in my face. It's like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, you're lumpy. You have to get those checked. I'm like, oh, please. My ultrasound technician has a minor in cartology. They haven't been just been checked. They've been mapped. <laughs> nice. Uh, I love hip hop. Anyone else love hip hop? when I try and dance, because I have no rhythm. When I try and dance, I actually look like I'm trying to dance to hip hop. Any other kind of music, they throw me out for trying to start a bar fight. <laughs> I found out recently, do you guys know this? Shark brains look just like women's reproductive organs. Whoa. Spin image, rear of evolution. But I understand now why sharks are so scary. Because I think with these parts like once a month, and some people are terrified of me. I think it's the random biting. A friend of mine said to me the other day, Carlo, you putting on your winter weight? And I said, no, girl, it's just shark week. I saw an ad in the paper the other day for businesses offering all their employees a free colonoscopy. I thought, wow, isn't that the boss just sticking it to us, literally? <laughs> I uh, 
was dating a guy recently and I realized this isn't going to work out. I had to break him up. Break up with him. Break him up. That's a different story. Whoa. Different guy. No one will ever find the body. Um, so this one I had to break up with. Because, see, he kept rubbing my nose against the headboard and spanking me with a rolled newspaper. And I tried to stop him. I said, look, I really don't think that this is what they mean when they say doggy style. Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye.